also main keynote addressing. Honorable Secretary Sir, Sri T. V. Redigaru, Dynamic Principal, Professor K. Sri Latamayam, Director Academics, Sri Mithi Sarojarendi Mena, My dear colleagues, Deans, Heads of all the departments, Media, Students, and uh, participants from the various colleges and universities. As a convener, it's my responsibility to summarize all the statistics of this today's international conference on knowledge engineering and artificial intelligence, that is ICKIA. 2024. First of all, very great evening to everyone to be part of this today's auspicious occasion. Coming to the point, as you are aware, after inauguration yesterday, we quickly started our sessions through online and also offline, where we organized these online and offline sessions in are Rojama Hall and F36 boardroom and also our auditorium, the ground floor. Yesterday, after inauguration, online presentations totally are fifty-four. Offline presentations are 14. So, yesterday, including offline and online, is equal to 68 presentations are completed. Today, after uh, uh, two abroad professors' keynote and also one of our eminent TCS uh, person and eminent person, I mean to say, a great person. Uh, innovative uh, keynote. After that, we started parallelly again these online and uh, offline presentations. Today's statistics are 16 presentations are offline and uh, 64 presentations are offline. Totally 80 presentations are completed today. So, if we can combine yesterday's total presentations and today's total presentations, 148 total presentations are completed online and offline. So, uh, really, it's a good sign uh, for everyone. Usually, based on the interest of the uh, audience, I mean, the presentee, uh, we given freedom for their choice either offline or online. Here suddenly some are changed their opinions due to some health issues, medical issues and emergencies. Some are offline converted into online, online converted into offline. But anyhow, finally 148 presentations are successfully completed with all your support. And uh, as, as a convener, I would like to express my gratitude in all aspects to all my uh, dignitaries. And uh, once again, I reveal one uh, wonderful good news to you with the permission of uh, the conference. Eh? Sir, can I? So, wonderful news, guys. Uh, our conference chair already just five minutes back already selected 35 of our papers into Springer. So today you may uh, receive uh, the information through your mail ID. We just you know uh, suggested you to submit some uh, format if you can complete as early as possible. So within a couple of days that 35 papers are uh, indexed in uh, Scopus through Springer. Rest of all papers also very soon uh, published and also indexed with uh, Scopus. So uh, I hope uh, such kind of conferences uh, 
need much in future in terms of uh, uh, r and d as a r and d team uh, my intention is to grow in all aspects i think you know artificial intelligence plays vital role in all the aspects there is a lot of future everything through artificial intelligence so try to uh, uh, increase your cv which helps you a lot for you especially in all the aspects so thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity once again i thank uh, uh, our management uh, they are very kind enough i never see such kind of uh, managements in my even in my earlier colleges this is my fifth engineering college i never see such a, a kind uh, you know management thank you so much uh, for giving me this wonderful opportunity and once again i thank to our dynamic principal madam continuously uh, madam support me in all the aspects for uh, successful completion of this wonderful conference icikia 2024 thank you very much for giving this wonderful opportunity thank you Thank you, sir, for sharing the report. I now request our principal, Dr. K. Sri Lata Madam, to share her opinions about the today's conference on International Conference on Knowledge Engineering and Artificial Intelligence. Thank you. Today's chief guest and my pro, my co-program chair, Dr. Sachinandan Mohanty, Secretary C. T. V. Redigaru. Academic Director Shrimati Saroja Rettigar, Convener of this particular conference, ICKEI 2024, Dr. Ramjan Sheikh, Co-Conveners of this conference, Mr. Vijay Kupa Watsal and uh, uh, Mr. Durga Prasad, the other heads of the department, deans, faculty members, delegates, a very good evening one and all. I would like to congratulate the convener of this particular program for making this a grand success. And I heartfully thank Sachinandan sir for accepting our request and helping us in getting the selected papers published in various index journals. As promised by us, while releasing this brochure of this particular conference, we will ensure to get all the selected papers published in various index journals. I'm very happy that with the efforts made by all the conference team, that majority of the papers, those who have got selected, presented their papers in both online and offline mode. Before pandemic, the days when we were doing the conferences and when we were presenting the papers, it is mandatory that one must go and present their paper. But now, post pandemic, because of the more technological advancements and because of the inventions and the new things that people are identifying, it has become very convenient for the researchers to present their paper. I agree that uh, it is convenient to present their research in online mode and the other people will listen to that. But I feel if it is nearer and if it is convenient, I request the researchers to go and present their paper in offline mode. There are two important reasons behind this. One, your network will get increased. Second, you will get different thoughts and you will get different ideas when you present your paper in front of the members and also in front of the conference chairs. In online, we do see our students also. Like for their instant, they'll switch on their video and the other instances, they'll be sleeping. It's very difficult to grab the attention of all the members in online mode. So that's the reason why if it is convenient and if it is feasible, I always advise the researchers to present their paper in offline mode only. Also, aim for a quality research. Aim for your research to get identified. So research identification can be done by getting indexing of your paper publishing in various good quality journals, submitting your proposals for any research projects, getting fund for doing the things. Let it be one rupee, right? You must start doing it. So always being a faculty, it's not that we have gained our degree and then we are teaching the subject. 
we have to be in line with the technological advancements failing which the younger generation have multiple facilities they are i mean like e they can do access very easily pre pandemic if you see as a teacher majority of the students were on to our teaching only were dependent on our teaching and on our lecture notes and on the material that we provide post pandemic I mean till that point of time they are not used to study for the examination by looking into the videos in pandemic they have learned many things and then today students doesn't require a teacher i mean to say we, they need a guide they don't want to have a teacher if they want to have a guide means our knowledge also to be increased the knowledge of a faculty will get increased when you do research when you do your contributions when you collaborate with people when you uh, like discuss with the people of your area and develop and you know the latest technologies this all will happen when you participate in conferences people do have a negative opinion that uh, why should i go for a conference if i just send a paper to one journal my paper will get published it will get published that there is no doubt in that but you will not no get to know who are all working on your area if you want to know that you have to present your papers in conferences so conference and presenting your paper in conference plays a major role so we have pipeline few more conferences in our college we'll announce it we'll come to know right every department i want to have every department once in a uh, half yearly session once in a semester have to organize a conference of multidisciplinary let us not restrict ourselves to our department let us restrict i mean let us expand our wings and let us work together in group all the disciplines i thank all the keynote speakers who have come from different places to deliver lecture on different topics all the sessions were very nice and i heartfully thank sachin sir again for referring those renowned speakers for us and uh, you are all very fortunate to listen to them i heartfully thank uh, sir for giving a keynote uh, session yesterday and dr naik sir for giving a lecture and dr subendu kumar sir dr sunita satpati and today dr balaprasad and then two more professors have joined from usa in online mode this morning i feel uh, um privileged and i thank on behalf of all the students faculty members and the management dr sachin sir for guiding us and for helping us in getting all these speakers i once again congratulate the convener of this program in making this a grand success and i heartfully thank the co conveners mr vijay kupra watsal and then mr durga prasad who worked hard for the past 15 20 days day and night and supported the convener in making this event a grand success one more person who is uh, not a part of this uh, panel of the conference uh, uh, miss uh, priya chitra for continuously helping the convener in uh, giving clarity on all the papers that uh, we have received uh, and everything though she is not a panel member list but she helped continuously the convener i request all the faculty members also to involve in different activities and majority of them were involved in the preparation of other activities like getting papers making them is one task which has been done by these four people and the all the other faculty members of all the disciplines have arranged for the venues have arranged for the lunch have looked into the registration have looked into the hospitality everything i heartfully thank all the faculty members for their cooperation in making this event a grand success and uh, the corresponding heads and all the doctorates of all the disciplines who helped us to be as uh, session chairs today for reviewing the online and the online papers and few offline papers also with the same cooperation from all the faculty members and all the heads of the department hope to see many more conferences to be organized in st peter's engineering college and i heartfully thank management for giving free hand in organizing this conferences and many more to see in near future thank you very much thank you for sharing your opinion
Any feedback from the attendees? Please. You can come here. Please come. Please come. A very good evening to all the dignitaries on the dais and after dais. Sir, uh, for this uh, two days international conference, uh, as Avanans have said now, 148 count, uh, paper count is not that much easy. Actually, I worked in the uh, VNR Vignana Jyoti Engineering College. In the college itself, we organize uh, this type of conferences, but this count will not uh, uh, get uh, that much easy for within uh, one month of period, okay, 148 papers count is not that much easy. Even though 120, 148 papers, all the dignitaries or jury members has listened very patiently. As here, I have uh, given my uh, research uh, survey paper in the morning. A jury member has given me the positive uh, suggestion regarding to my survey uh, research survey paper. I may use the same uh, that feedback to continue my research in very uh, uh, useful manner. Thank you, sir, for giving the uh, good positive uh, suggestion for uh, uh, regarding to my research. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I request our academic director, T. Samucha Eddy, madam, to share her valuable thoughts about the studies conference on international conference on knowledge engineering and artificial intelligence. Any more? Uh, any more feedback from the participants? Yeah, Very good evening, sir. Uh, on the dais and off the dais. So it is being observed that uh, within uh, 15 days, uh, I got a wonderful uh, information, sir. Actually, uh, when coming to the my application itself, uh, within uh, 15 days, I got uh, being implemented, whatever I thought actually. And SAR has given a lot of support. And uh, within uh, less time, they made more papers. Uh, actually, I thought only it is uh, 100 plus, but it is being uh, becoming uh, more than 150 like that. So it's really wonderful, sir, actually. Thank you. Thank you for uh, management and the principal man, as well as all other the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Respected uh, chief guest for today's valedictory function, Professor uh, uh, Sachin Mohanty. The Mohanty, sir. Yeah, the secretary of the institution, Sri TV Reddy, the principal, Dr. Srilata, the convener for the two-day conference, Dr. Amzan Sheikh, the co-conveners, Mr. Durga Prasad and uh, Vijay Krupa Vassal, all the HODs, all the um, program committee members. Good evening to one and all. So I would like to take this opportunity to first of all congratulate our principal for uh, spearheading the two-day conference. Shall we all uh, give a big round of applause to her? And then the main person behind the conference, Dr. Amzan Sheikh. I think, sir, please stand up and you should receive the standing ovation. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you had uh, two very important people who were helping in uh, out, uh, Mr. Durga Prasad and Vijay Krupa Vassal. Kindly rise and acknowledge yourself. Please rise wherever you are. The people are not here. So Durga Prasad and still working in the background. Yeah, whenever I see the CC cameras, there is a room besides principal's madam's room, morning till evening. I see three of them sitting on the system and then working on this conference. I hats off to them for past so many days. Continuously, they have been sitting there, scrutinizing the papers, organizing and everything. So it is not such an, yeah, someone can uh, kindly call them, I think, Vijay sir and uh, Durga Prasad sir. Yes. Madam, so go ahead, call them. Yeah, I think they're still working there. Right. It's not an easy task. It takes so many months there. So we had, uh, by the time we start there, so once the idea had uh, this one, Dr. Amzan Sheikh had uh, really taken it forward. I really congratulate you, sir. 
and uh, and we have a very good mentor uh, in uh, Dr. Uh, Sachin Mohanty. We had a short meeting with all the doctorates now, and he was so much uh, interested in helping us in publishing more and more papers there. So he was telling that all the doctorates who are there, who can take up five projects, in each project there can be a staff, there can be a student, and he will also help us in getting an international faculty. So combine three together, it can become an international, uh, it can become a wonderful paper which he will help us in publishing in the so-called good journals like Scopus and and uh, uh, Springer there. So all of us thought that definitely we'll take it forward and uh, it might be uh, bringing in more projects to the college there. So he's uh, a great, I can say it's a mastermind of all this where definitely he will be of great uh, help to all of us. And we hope, uh, sir, with your help, we will uh, do many more research uh, projects in our college. Now, being just a faculty in the college is just not enough. Just we say teaching, we come in the morning, go teach our subjects and go. I think in an engineering college, it is not at all sufficient. Apart from teaching, might be teaching takes only 50%, but other 50% is the research work which you take up in the college, especially in an engineering college. So everybody remember that your R&D plays a very, very important role. The more number of papers you publish, the more it is pub published in good uh, journals there, then you can one day, who knows, you will also be called as the keynote speaker. I want all of you one day to be one of you, our faculty there. How long will you be called as assistant professors? Is that your wish vision in your uh, vision that my lifelong I will be only assistant professor? We all have our visions, isn't it? Might be a five-year plan or 10-year plan. After so many years, I have to become an associate. I have to become a professor. And then might be, who knows? Tomorrow you will become a chair of any international conference there. So you have to improve upon that. And that is possible only if you do your research. And many of the times I think uh, I can also be sorry for that. We have to be a little bit strict telling that it is compulsory. You have to publish. Many of them might have taken it in a wrong way also. Why are these people behind us? When you take a small child, a child is becoming very adamant. It uh, doesn't listen. What do the parents do first? We try to convince the child. Still they don't do, then what is that you do? You will have to give one spanking. Isn't it? And then the child understands. Might be at that moment the child cries, but later on they understand that it is only for our good. So please remember when we tell you, when we force you, we tell you, Take your time, publish your research. It is only for your own good. Remember, we want you to grow. Please have a vision not to stay in that same place. All of you are young. You have so much of life ahead. Don't stop with just become an MTEC staff there. After your PhD, as sir said, your research starts only after PhD. So how many papers you publish, how many children you have helped them, all that will count. And as sir said, every year, your resume should increase with another two more pages there. If your resu resume was three uh, papers, after one year, it has to become five more papers. So how does it become? By adding the number of papers you have published, the number of conferences you have uh, attended there. How much of confidence you get? When you go and present a paper, how much of networking you make, how much of ideas you get, how many innovative ideas you learn. And I think I was really lucky today when I heard uh, that person from TCS. What is his name, madam? Bala Prasad, sir. But uh, unfortunately, I could see only two staff. I can say Chennai sir was there, Shiva Prasad, sir, and some of the heads were there. It was such a wonderful, I'm telling you, staff. If you have not attended, you are very unlucky. We have put a message there. I would have been very happy if more of you could have come and heard him. What a talk it was. How much of insights he has given into the cloud applications, into the new areas of AI. So that's what, no, when you say, when you attend the conference, you get so many ideas there which you can implement it forward there. Yesterday also there was a sir, doctor, uh, professor from, uh, uh, Pro Professor Nayak from Manipal. He is a mechanical engineer. And he has his own four journals. Do you people know that? And he's done so many innovations in the medical field. Seeing that innovations itself, I couldn't imagine if someone could think like that. Now, there was a small innovation where if you want to get a urine sample tested, you either go to a lab or nowadays they come home and take the sample. So he's prepared something that in the sample itself, just like your sugar, which gives you the instant result, 
the urine sample also you uh, deposit the urine in that instantly it will give you all the parameters which are required for so that's what he's created there similarly he thought when he went to a dentist he saw he saw the doctors who were wearing gloves but they used to touch the focus light and then push the same hand in the patient's mouth there and so much unhygienic so what he's created a focus light without touching itself just by the movement of the hand wherever the light has to be focused you show your hand the light is focused there so he says that i have kept my mind and ears open in small little things in every day it is innovation which matters there we don't need to be inventors now this is a thing which is there might be this mic is there how you can better it there so everybody has got out of the box ideas there so if you can think everybody can become an innovator so these are the things which you learn in a uh, conference which you attend so i really once again thank all the people who were there for the success of this two day international conference and uh, we also had uh, keynote speakers from abroad so thank you so much sir for uh, being the chair and helping us conduct it so wonderfully hope we'll have these conferences on an yearly basis and i hope you will all take it in a positive sense and then let's make a research oriented atmosphere in the college where all our staff our students our final year students he's saying that you should encourage your final year students also to publish paper which will not only be useful to them to you as well as it will increase our nirf ranking which will be very helpful for the college and the staff to grow so thank you all the people who were behind the show once again uh, mr durga prasad and where is your other uh, okay kindly uh, acknowledge yourself could you rise let him also let him also, let him also come and then we'll give them the uh, accolades which they request so thank you so much for all your cooperation and hope this becomes a grand success in the future conferences which can conduct thank you all Shweta Bengal Dots, Enquest, and Secretary and Correspondent, TV Editor, summarized on these conferences. Yeah. Respected uh, Principal Ma'am, the Chair of uh, this International Conference, Mohanty Sir, uh, Director Ma'am, and more importantly, uh, the VAP of uh, these two days, uh, our convener. Uh, Dr. Ramjan Sheikh and uh, faculty members, HODs, uh, uh, staff, and my dear students. Good evening to all of you. Uh, it's very nice to see the. Um, we are all busy all these days. Uh, the D Day was yesterday. It has come, and then today we are going to complete our. Uh, it completed literally uh, an international conference. When uh, I think uh, I remember the first time when we had that uh, talk with Ramjan uh, sir. Um, it was long back if i'm not wrong 7 8 months 7 months back yeah 8 months back we'll be conducting a program like this you know it takes some time but as it goes on you know it peaks and the last few days 15 20 days is a very very hectic time for all of them no program in any college can be done by an individual neither a principal if a principal think that i can do alone she is wrong or he is wrong if hod thinks that i am hod i can do everything it's wrong secretary no one can do any program unless until it is an individual uh, paper or a preparation or an examination it's individual but in an institution any work you take it up whether it's annual day sports day international conference or uh, you take up uh, technical fest anything you take it up it has to be a group event all of us have to work together students have to join us uh, sometimes even parents have to join us everyone should contribute and if everyone contribute the program will be successful if you don't contribute again the rate of success will always come down and if this particular conference has done very well then it's uh, the credit goes to not only the convener and principal but every faculty member who worked for it as soon as the faculty comes we'll just recognize them but i would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you okay a lot of speeches were there from yesterday so uh, one more we have <laughs> from mohanty sir so uh, i will make it very very keep it very short uh, times have changed we should change with the times okay 
Uh, I was in Varangal. I was brought and brought up in Varangal. Kakatu University is very close to our place. So we had uh, one of the first pharmacy colleges in uh, Andhra Pradesh. I mean, Telangana was not there at that time. 95, if I'm not wrong. Um, you know, we started the first pharmacy college in uh, this one along with us. Uh, Pularadi, Siddhartha and uh, Babatla. These were the four colleges which were there. I remember, you know, we used to uh, get permit to get permission. We used to come to from Varangal. We started eleven o'clock uh, in the night uh, because at that then Prime Minister, Chief Minister was N D Ramarao, and he used to give appointment at four o'clock in the morning. So we used to start from Varangal at eleven o'clock because he he takes bath at three o'clock and then comes into the room with all those and four o'clock. That was his time, so we used to do that. I mean, it was so tough uh, to get permissions and all those things. So whenever for this person, we, we used to go to Kakati University. I was surprised to see sometimes, you know, some research scholars, faculty members. They used to work till eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, sometimes even the whole night. They used to sit in the laboratory and then do it. I was surprised to see, you know, why? What are they doing all these things? Because in our college, after four thirty, sometimes we look as if there is curfew in our college. Nobody will be there in this college. Okay, uh, I say you use you use this college till ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, and then do it. Use it for your purpose, for your growth. Any support you want from our side, we said yesterday morning. Also, I said if any of the faculty who is sitting here, he says, sir, next semester or next year, I wanted to focus completely on research. You tell me your proper preparation. Give a project. I want to do this, and in case that is there. I will come forward to recommend your name to principal, saying that we reduce the what is it called academic load or remove the academic load in case you prove that you are always going to be there. Because if there are hundred people in working in a college, all hundred don't need to teach. Okay, ninety five, ninety six percent if they are teaching, remaining four five percent they can still concentrate on research. There is nothing wrong in it, but it has to be genuine research. That's what I would like to say. Okay, why two period teaching periods were given uh, on uh, for doctorates? Because remaining time they have to focus on research or guide other people on research. That's the reason. So please, uh, as Director Madam rightly said, now it's fifty fifty. If you're an academic person, you will end up in academic itself. Now today you had the TCS guy coming here. You know he is into good academics. He is into research. And he was telling today, lot of companies nowadays are recruiting academicians into their industry because everybody is starting research. Somebody is with academics and also research is a super combination for them. Microsoft is doing it, TCS is doing it, Infosys, all of them are doing like that. So you don't look at you know what am I going to get? I'm telling you, you'll get lot of this. But if you don't start, you'll never. It, it's a long process. I know many of you are tired by doing your PhD, okay? Four years, five years, six years. If it is Yosmania, JNTU, Hyderabad, eight years, okay? There was one teacher who have done it in twelve years recently. Uh, who came and met me, saying, "Sir, it took me twelve years." So, don't be tired. It's a process, okay? I want you to continue to that, and uh, of course, there are faculty from other colleges are also here, students from there. But I would like to tell you here, we are open. In helping you in that, but only thing is that you must have a proper planning and then do it. If necessary, we can also fund because not many are doing it, so there's nothing wrong in doing it. So please, please uh, think about uh, this one. Do the projects, and I request. Uh, I think Amjan sir is only in charge for R and D with the help of principal ma'am. Please uh, send a circular tomorrow from your uh, what is it called HR policy? What are the facilities that you have in this college? You write a paper, you get money. You go to a You get OD. You go to a you get registration fees. Okay. You write a have a patent. You have got some money. You write a book. You have got some money. Okay. There are so many things that you can get from the college. I don't say we are giving you in lakhs, but definitely we are giving you five to ten thousand to fifteen thousand is the am I right, man? Fifteen thousand is the maximum. We don't mind increasing that the quality as the quality increases. No doubt about it. But I know nobody will do it for money's sake. But it's our kind of, you know, encouragement to all of you. You don't do it for ten thousand, fifteen thousand. You don't write a paper, but you give so much of time for yourself, and 
as long as they're working in this college, that's going to even add up to the college. That's why we wanted to encourage. The day you leave this college, not the day, the minute, the second you leave this college, the whole contribution that you do will come along with you, wherever you are. So it is your property, please remember. You know, that's why, you know, intellectual uh, IPR, if you know about it, uh, deep about it, a lot of money is being, name is there, fame is there, money is also coming. So please remember these things and then contribute for that, okay? Uh, once again, congratulations to Principal Ma'am, uh, our Amjan sir and uh, all the other people who are involved in this and special thanks to Mahanti sir for coming forward and uh, helping us. He was here two days. We have got a lot of time to talk to each other and uh, uh, definitely we'll have a long-term association with you, sir. I know there are so many colleges in your uh, kitty, but uh, please uh, put St. Peter's on the top uh, and uh, continue to you know support and encourage uh, all, all the you know teaching uh, and also the students. And uh, I would like to request the following people to please raise uh, Dr. Amjan Sheikh, the convener, uh, Durga Prasad, uh, the co-convener, Vijay Krupa is, is coming, okay, still uh, busy. Uh, Priya Chitra, please stand up. Uh, the registration uh, desk team, can you please stand up? So if you are here, the registration desk team, they are still in the registration desk? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If they are here, transport team, transportation team who are all looking after. Okay, please, please, please stand up. Don't, don't hesitate. Okay. The hospitality team, hospitality team, uh, the MBA faculty, when we are, sir, one more, yeah, yeah, that's what, looking, you were, you looked after us, that's what a surprise, where did all the people vanish, okay, uh, what is this, network the network support team, uh, all the people, yeah, network support team, uh, all those who are there, can you please, yeah, that man is that corner, okay. And here, one in this corner, uh, and in between, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come to that also, sir. The anchoring team, okay, and the students who are all with the only two are there, but of course others are there. The media team, okay. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, and the advertisement team who are all you know sent uh, the message. So please raise us because I'm not reading every name. I'm reading the department. Can you please stand up? Okay, shall we all stand up and then clap? Uh, sit and clap for all those who are standing. Yeah, these these people have done great job, and uh, every as I said, no, uh, you think that you know, principal ma'am and uh, uh, what is it called, Dr. Anjan sir is seen here, but there are a lot of unsung heroes who are not seen physically. That's why I thought I'll take this opportunity to you know recognize all of you. I think uh, uh, um, man, director madam was trying trying to do this, but you know you were not here. So I took the opportunity uh, from her uh, to recognize, keep, pass my greetings to uh, Vijay sir also. Okay. Yeah, please, please be seated. And uh, all, all the department went, went very well. And the food committee, the hospitality committee, uh, the media committee here, and uh, the anchoring uh, team here. All of you have done a good job. And uh, next week, we'll what we'll do is we'll have a review. And I request from now onwards, uh, I request Principal Adam to please make sure that whoever all done which work, please prepare a certificate. And in the review meeting, we will uh, give the certificates to all of them. Okay. So all these people who are involved in that, along with the HODs also will be present in the review meeting. Every program now onwards, as soon as you complete with them, within one week, we'll have a review meeting. In that review meeting, it's an open session. Everyone can say, what are the problems you've met in that? Because somebody may not have supported you, or somebody might have really helped you. Everything you can say. We'll make a note of all those things. By the time you do the next event, uh, we'll open this file and then see what all went on well. Okay, we'll continue. What all didn't go well, we will try to see that that mistake will not happen again. So next week, we'll have this. Uh, we were always orally appreciating. Now onwards, I think we'll start giving certificates for all those things so that you can file. Tomorrow, it'll be useful for your individual, this one also. So please uh, do that, ma'am. Next week, we'll uh, have a meeting. Before the meeting, Please keep the certificate ready. What role also they have done also, please. Don't say they are contributed. No, contributed where? And that will always uh, help you, help them. So once again, uh, yeah. 
session chairs. No, no, I heartfully thank all the heads of the department, session chairs, for all the venue coordinators. Like, people know only Ms. Rosa Mahal, uh, where the event has happened. There are other four venues where uh, events have happened and then online sessions were there. Can you please stand up so that we'll uh, all, all those session chairs for all that uh, yesterday and today? Yeah, excuse me. Uh, I, I actually I missed it from my this one. So a big hand uh, for all of them. Madhu Madam also. Yeah, one more Madam. He's reminding you, see. See, he's a co-convener. That's why he knows everything. <laughs> Even you forgot, he's reminding you. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much, all of you. And sorry for forgetting your, huh, to recognize you. Uh, and there are some lot of other people who are sitting here also done directly or indirectly you've supported in complete and um, conducting this particular program so once again uh salute to all of you and uh, continue to be a part of these things and i'm telling you work is sometimes a little difficult but after completion of the work the kind of satisfaction you get internally is different and uh, uh i always you know you know tell some people i'll just give an example i don't want to tell the name uh, last year one faculty came to me and said sir I have completed my PhD because of you. I said, how can you complete your PhD because of me? Me, I said, sir, I didn't complete anything. No, sir, you forced me so many times to do a register for my PhD. If I wouldn't have registered my PhD, I wouldn't have completed my PhD. So that's why I tell all the MTech people, please register for your PhD. If not today, you will complete after a decade, at least after a decade, you will complete your PhD. Please do it. Don't end up like being MTech. Okay? Yeah, you will. Uh, this one and I'm telling you that tomorrow even PhD will not have a big value. Okay? Your research, your contribution, your CV and what all you're doing, that matters a lot because everybody will be a doctorate. I was just telling before because there are so many private universities coming up, they will all manufacture PhDs now onwards. Okay? They'll mean, I mean, every year 10, 15, no, hundreds, hundreds of PhDs will come out. So, so you can see in our own Telangana, we've got six uh, uh, private disciplines have come. Imagine that, you know, even if you are taking uh, all disciplines put together, huh? ah, what, five, madam, you just see them. Uh, uh, minimum 10 they will have. 10 into so many disciplines and then how many universities? And next four few, and uh, the Jain University Committee, UGC has recently come out with a new policy called distinct university. Okay? Even St. Peter's Engineering College is also eligible to become a university now. Of course, we are not becoming now, but I'm just telling you, we are eligible to become a university. So, by next June or July, you will know how many colleges have applied for distinct university. And all of them are eligible to, uh, what is it called, register for distinct uh, what, PhDs. So, to do a PhD is not going to be a great, difficult task now. But after that, what you have done is very important. So, all those who have done PhD, so don't think it's over. Please open your, uh, you know, uh, things back again and start uh, doing research on that field or other fields. And uh, I was very happy uh, to listen to our we, um, our chief minister, Anil Sarastri, he said, uh, uh, every faculty member should have uh, a name of, um, you know, having a goal of being good in a one particular topic. Okay, you are a computer science engineer. But you can't, computer science engineering is such a vast thing. But one area that you like it, similarly electronics, electrical, mechanical, one area and then start doing research and every year attend one major conference in that particular field. What happens when you attend? You, because the best, the cream of the uh, world will come into that uh, conference. And then you will also be able to meet the leaders of research. Then you will listen to them, you get inspiration from them. That's why please do it. And the college will give you OD to attend those things. The college will fund you to attend those things. So please uh, plan and then submit to your HODs. And uh, in turn, your principal will definitely permit because our college policy itself is that you can go for six, six days. Six days in a year, you can go on duty, uh, whatever, whether exam work or uh, what is it called? Research work, whatever you want to do it. It's a paid program. And if you're going out, we will also fund you for those things, for registration. So, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, we will continue to uh, have uh, many programs. 
and uh, the next two weeks also we are fully packed up with programs like 23rd we have got uh, our uh, uh, you know annual day uh, aquila and then 24th is uh, not a very busy day for us but very busy day for uh, the students okay they are all waiting for 24th we are waiting for 23rd and uh, and then followed by that uh, our um, Uh, where is uh, our uh, ec department hod and faculty are all uh, they are already wearing their skating shoes uh, uh, to you know catch up with the this one we, we never expected uh, nba to call us so soon and uh, i got the call i was little shocked then i when i requested them to please extend uh, don't ask for extension you will be in trouble finish off and then we said okay we'll do it and then uh, i'm happy that uh, they are already um, on the runway now they are about to fly so all the very best to this one and then after that is the most important thing jnt you any time from that will be landing in our college for the ffc purpose for the next year so the next two weeks two months are going to be full of this one however we will continue to do the regular work only those who are associated with that work will be busy remaining people will continue to do those things and uh, those who are all busy with academics fourth year projects please do that regarding fourth year projects also i think uh, mondi sir may advise some suggestion for you for their uh, uh, projects what can be done how can it be moved so once again i would like to thank you sir especially and everyone who is involved with this thank you thank you so much one quest to program chair dr sachinandan mohanty sir and overall experience on this conference they expected secretary and correspondent of this institution sri tb reddy garu the respected principal madam dr k c lalta lalta garu respected soroja madam respected our convener of this program dr amjit and uh, respected all the dean directors of the institution the media person and uh, faculties members of this institution authors from the different part of the institution and my lovable students as you know every beginning there is ending every sunrise there is a sunset again you start a new day with a new time with a new aim and ambition so this conference as of madam already convey you 35 papers already we given to uh, approval for the spinger and the rest of the it will be published the journal having q3 proceeding of engineering science i already sent the today morning approval so i am waiting for the approval after that uh, there is a uh, procedure is there in the their own format as you know every journal has the own format so authors have to receive the mail on the one uh, good call the sample copy and template you have to put in template and sample copy and upload in the drive and the drives uh, they will access and it will publish we are targeting by 31st of the march so all the papers should be published and online after online so by within uh, two months it will be indexing by the scopus so i request to all the management team and uh, this conference should be a recurrent conference you not only the fast knowledge engineering artificial intelligence make it is next year to next year like that so 30th june is you know our birthday of the rujuma madam so you can fix particular date and that day you every year you organize so that is a memory for them. because you organize in the same conference hall so in the same date birthday day so we can organize so again you will meet in 30 june 2024 again 2025 like that so i request to all the final students so you try to showcase your product you showcase your result you showcase your hard work so unless only the hindi mein ek hai jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai so what will do you write a paper in the guidance of your mentor and guidance your your principal madam and guidance your amjad sir You at least you publish a paper in IEEE Conference Explorer so that your paper will be visible to throughout the world. So that you can go for any program, it will be very easy for you. And I request to all the faculty members, the young faculty members, so try to 
involved in a research work so no doubt academic is a part of curriculum but uh, you have to do for research research innovation are the two pillar of the key of success of the, any organizations so what i believe if you develop yourself if you all knowledge update yourself if your improvement your department improvement your, your department improvement your institute improvement your institute improvement your nation will be improved so that is the my concern so very thankful to host the organization and um, i congratulate to all the team members so all the reviewers from the external internal reviewer members those are and my team members are also there uh, always cooperate with you to organize this type of conference we say happy journey thank you Sorry friends, actually I am taking some more time. I, I try to complete this one so fast. Uh, respected Secretary Sir, uh, Director Madam, uh, Principal Madam, uh, today's uh, International Conference uh, Convener, uh, Convener Sir, uh, my dear faculty members, students, participants, uh, good evening one and all. Myself, I am Dr. R. Venkat, Associate Professor of AML Department. It's a honor to have uh, been asked to offer a vote of thanks for this international conference on Knowledge Engineering and Artificial Intelligence uh, 2024. On behalf of International Conference Committee, my hearty gratitude and thanks to all the guests and speak speakers, especially to uh, Dr. Sachi Nandan uh, Mohanti Garu, uh, the program chair, for sharing their knowledge. It has been our tribute to host all the members and the audience uh, of the conference. I'm thankful to all the participants for coming here and uh, attending the international conference. I'm sure that our college will continue to get a significant provision from uh, diverse groups in the future. So I take the uh, I take this occurrence uh, to thank uh, the management, principal, madam, convener, sir, guests and speakers as well as participants. For representing their valuable views, I must uh, remark a proficient uh, sense of uh, gratefulness to all our guests for sharing with us. All the participants of this conference are all inspired by your highly sparkling words. Thank you one and all. all those uh, in the uh, committees uh, you can please assemble near the uh, the lobby we'll have a group photo there all the every person who is involved in various committees including this yeah yeah photo booth work okay. 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 Okay.